quite a speech by Michel Obama. Hillary Clinton on the ropes at the start of his convention with the chair of the DNC having to dramatically resign over this uh, email leak from WikiLeaks, which was pretty poisonous about Bernie Sanders. So on the back foot, but Michel Obama, I thought, really nailed it last night, made a tremendous speech. She did. I was there for it. I'm an elected Hillary delegate with the California delegation. So I was very excited to be there uh, for what I'll call this historic occasion, where Hillary Clinton will soon be nominated as the first woman to be nominated by a major party for president of the United States. And Michelle <clears throat> really rocked the house, Piers. Uh, she overwhelmingly got great reviews. And I think one of her themes is she has two daughters. And what kind of president do we want our daughters and our sons to be looking up to? Do we want a, to, them to look up to a president who calls women fat pigs, who suggests that Mexicans or Mexican-Americans are rapists and criminals, that all Muslims somehow should be banned from the United States? Is this the kind of president that we want and we don't want this for our children. We do want someone like Hillary Rodham Clinton. She gave him, gave her a resounding uh, embrace and endorsement. And she and Bernie Sanders urge people not to just stay home. Okay. Get out there and fight for Hillary Rodham Clinton, and let's win her the White House. Her time has come. Gloria, do you know what I think lots of people watching Michelle Obama might have thought that it's time for Michelle Obama to be president. Do you think there is a moment when that might be a possibility? I do think that might be a possibility. And she would be the second first lady <laughs> to hold that position if, in fact, Hillary Rodham Clinton can win it. But let's face it, politics is blood sport. This is war. The attacks on Hillary Rodham Clinton have been brutal for many, many decades. She has survived them. She has bounced back. And she will prevail. But it's going to be tough, and none of us okay. can take this for granted. Gloria, let and, me jump in. And that's why we have to rally, we have to unite the party. Well, you're making a, an impassioned plea for your lady, uh, for Hillary. But the reality, the harsh reality, is that following the Republican convention, Donald Trump got a bounce in the polls. He's ahead of Hillary Clinton for the first time. And trust in Hillary Clinton is at almost historic lows for any Democratic uh, nominee. Only three out of 10 Americans in a new CNN poll yesterday believe that she's an honest and truthful person. And the real problem, notwithstanding your adoration for her, is that you know as well as I do that she's as unpopular as a nominee as Donald Trump. And that's why it's so close. I think she's going to get a bounce out of this convention. And we still have three more days of this convention. And uh, we need the Bernie Sanders supporters, who, by the way, there were a lot of protests today in Philadelphia, uh, numerous protests, and on the convention floor by Bernie Sanders supporters. But we, I think we can bring them into the party. The polls show that 90 percent of the Bernie Sanders supporters said that they will vote for Hillary Clinton, because when they look at the alternative, when they look at Donald Trump, that's a dangerous alternative, that's a risky alternative, and they don't represent the values that Bernie Sanders has been fighting for and advocating for. I think the country requires fresh leadership to take it in this direction. I will do everything I can as Prime Minister to steady the ship over the coming weeks and months. But I do not think it would be right for me to try to be the captain that steers our country 